let's talk and I'm going to personally show you today what has been the best tip on and off YouTube in 2021 for your irons. And well, the mad thing is, it's using this piece of wood. It's going to show you how you can compress your irons, how you can get into and improve your impact position so it's absolutely spot on. Let's start this by, well, grabbing what is going to be your most comfortable iron, and that probably is somewhere between eight iron and six iron. <laughs> so we'll split the difference and we'll go with seven iron. Now, whatever I'm saying right now with this beautiful piece of wood, which some of us may have, some of us may not, you can do this up against and repeat the exact same process if you're down at the range, up against the corner of the mat. So you just need a square edge, okay? But I'm gonna do it with my brilliant piece of wood. So the reason why this was one of the best received tips on and off YouTube, it stopped the scooping and it allowed you to get your hands ahead of the golf ball, okay? But without opening the face. So have a look at this here. If we do this tip correctly, look how I can push this wood. Really dynamic, really in posture. Where most of us are right now, and this is why I think it's brilliant that we remind you of this tip, is if I scoop this ball or open the face, my pressure and my force up on that piece of wood is dramatically reduced. So follow these simple steps and you can start getting really into the best impact position you possibly can. And I know you can start hitting your irons all the way from your most comfortable at seven iron to ones that are probably not so comfortable here at four iron. Let's, let's hit one away. So let's hit one away together. I'm gonna hit this with seven iron. And I think we'd all love to access that strike where it feels just, I didn't even feel it on the face. That certainly wasn't that, it's cold. <laughs> and I really did feel that. So we're gonna say this piece of wood is effectively my golf ball, okay? We're gonna learn and gonna start this in reverse really and say, where do you want to get an impact? Well, follow these steps. So as you move sort of to face on now, you're gonna see me get into this address position. So address that square edge with the leading edge of your golf club, okay? And on the side of the screen here, you're gonna see the exact same processes that I'm doing here, but just a little bit more of a lower down, closer up version. I want you to follow this. You're gonna just keep your glove hand on the golf club. Now, if I open the face, or let me rephrase that, if I put my hands ahead of the golf ball, most of us open that face dramatically and that strike's gonna feel worse and you're gonna to tend to miss that ball for a right-hander, right at target. Left-hander, way left of target. So follow this. I want you to point your belt buckle to target, feel as though your left hip gets higher than your right or your, your lead higher than your trail, okay? Now I want you to get your hands ahead of the golf ball but keeping your leading edge flush to that piece of wood, okay? You can see that really staying flush. Now put your right hand on the club. Now look how athletic I'm at impact. If I am to rotate through, look how I can push that piece of wood a considerable distance. I stay dynamic. I stay into the shot. Let me show you that again. So address it, glove hand on, hips ahead, on, push. Now we'd all love to be in that position. Now the reason why I think this has been a great tip and people have accessed this and brought this into their game is because you can really feel the pressure in from the right hand and the face guiding and the squaring with the left. That's how I think about this relationship. Power arm, club face controlling hand. Doosh. So what I got people to do from the next stage, oh no, brand new glove, all muddy, <laughs> disaster, is again, address the piece of wood, but now swing up to the top and come back down to the golf ball 
recreating the same position you just freeze framed. So this was your freeze frame. Now just recreate it. Boom. So you can really see why that tip right there helped you get forward shuffling. It gave you a great understanding of how you got your hands ahead and it really showed you exactly how you're gonna start compressing your irons. Because if you don't follow those steps, repeat that, if you do not follow those steps, you're gonna scoop that piece of wood up. You're not gonna compress it and well, you're certainly not gonna enjoy that strike. Just like that. I need reminding of that. And I think that's exactly why, well, I don't think, that's exactly why I brought you that tip today. Remember the process. Hips, keep the club face square with hands ahead, power on through. Thanks so much for watching.